I got them. Um, I got the F1 Flame Tail and Gara Peacocks. Really happy with them. I could quickly show a glimpse of them. Maybe you could see some colors of the males. Um, they're roughly about an inch. Maybe almost hitting a point, an uh, inch and a half. Uh, let me get the light right. I'm using my LED on my phone, trying to get the light reflected off the males. One sec. So you can see some yellow growing right there, some blue shimmer to it. Really nice. These guys are really showing a lot of color. Um, I'm hoping that there's at least three males. So one could go in my show tank, two for breeding as a backup, um, and the rest females. So I'm really hoping on that. Um, the breeder told me if I receive more males than females, um, he'd be more, ha more than happy to uh, give me an exchange for the males for females. So regardless, um, it's not that bad. He's local. Could just go to him, switch it real quick. Not that bad. So I got 10 of these guys. Just set up this 20 gallon. Got a pump going in there um, for agitation to the water. Do not have a filter in there, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of water changes, so should be fine. Added a few rocks. Didn't think it was necessary, but just added it just in case um, of aggressions or w whatnot probably buffer the pH if anything. <laughs> These are same old same, uh, red shoulders and and yellow labs mixed. There's about 40 of them in there. It's also another 20 gallon. Uh, this is the whole setup. Uh, it's, it's tight in here so not the best angle but you could basically see 20 gallon, 20 gallon, metal, pole sand. It's good. Um, another quick update coming right over over here. I oh, also I forgot to mention I did a lot of cable management compared to my other last video. This whole stove top was just wires, 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 wires. Um, so I routed them all through the back as best as I could, and all the way down into into there. It's hard to see, but it's all the way down there. So less wires. Got to move this pump probably more back there, but you know it's a lot more open. Parents would be more happy with that. <laughs> Um, okay, so here, these are two, I believe, five gallons, should be. I picked up um, four extra peacocks. I'm um, just gonna grow them out. They're F1 as well. Um, got a really good deal on them, five bucks each. Um, store price was seven ninety nine each, so not too bad as far as the discount goes. I have. Actually, don't even quote me on names, um, but they're probably the best males that were there. At least at this size, showing some sort of color. So you can see the deep water hap, showing a nice blue shimmer to him. Definitely a male. Um, I do have an intermediate. He looks basically almost fully colored. At this size, that's amazing. I'm trying to get my LED right so I can reflect his colors right there. See that? That's a definite male. And for sure quality. For that size, to have that much color. Um, he is F1 as well, so pretty much expected. That's pretty solid. This guy forgot his name. Um, you can see a blue to his head. Let me shine the LED right. You can see a blue right there. Nice contrast. Um, and I forgot what this was. That one just behind Intermedius. Um, he's also a You can see a blue right there, that lining right there to his body. Top half. Kind of blurry, my bad, guys. But you kind of get the point. So I have them in this one, five gallon. They're only there for temporary, so they're not going to go in there. Um, not torturing them. The water is nice and clean. Tanks going well. Has some agitation. Here is my blue regal fry. Last time I showed you a video, it was hard to see them. I moved them from here because I had all my three gallons lined up on this stand. So it was like one, two, three sideways um, just the way this is and just one twenty down there so I put another 20 here I just bought one today clean the hell out of it because it was really dirty I'm happy with that it's nice and clean no scratches just a little dried up muck on top of there but most majority of it came off so I'm happy with it doesn't smell it's good nice and clean good tank doesn't leak for fifteen dollars for a 20 gallon that's really good um, usually they go a dollar a gallon if it's used so I'm really happy with that um, 
So yeah, back to this. This is my blue regal. There's ten of them in there. Uh, definitely not showing any color because they're way too small. They'll start showing color about one, actually not even not even that, two, three inches probably, maybe three inches. Um, just growing them out. Saw the male who's really good. So I have one rock in there just to buffer the pH. I don't know if that makes much of a difference, but it helps. Then nothing in there. Um, just another glimpse at them sideways. Yeah, so you get the point. <laughs> um, cleaned up my sink. There was a lot more junk in here. I actually put everything in a box, so it's much more cleaner. This is my grow base. This is, this is like my cell and grow tank. Um, only yellow labs in here at the moment. Gonna sell them. They're about inch to inch and a half. Actually, no, they're about an inch. Safe to say, give or take. Um, they're also really good stock. My yellow labs are actually really high quality. There's no. It's just pure electric yellow and a pure black bar. Nothing else. No uh, fade in the yellow. There's nothing bad quality about them. Um, but yeah. So this is my. I wouldn't consider a fish room, but just you know, a good amount of tanks to have some sort of breeding going. Um, I'm going to be keeping my Angaras in here, mainly because it's a pretty solid tank, 20 gallons. If I do see things that shouldn't be happening, I will probably upgrade to a 40 gallon, but at the moment I'm happy with a 20. See how it goes, and I'll go from there. Um, I also got some blue carob sand. Get some light on that. It's actually really nice. Um, pure white. You can see. I'm probably not gonna put them in here mainly because I like the open bottom. So when I'm do when I do catch fish, I don't scoop up other, you know, uh, substrate or whatnot. So it's just easier. Um, and when cleaning, it's a lot more easier just to keep the tanks nice and clean in order. So there's also another bonus. Um, not much to say. This is. Pretty exciting, I'm really excited about these Angaras. F1 means a lot to me. I want to take care of these guys as much as possible. You saw the shimmer of the blue within the light. Um, really nice. There you can see it again. Look at that. Look at that guy. Nice smell, look at that. Amazing coloration. That's because that's another male, I guess. You got a nice yellow. Probably another male right there. Rest, I would have to see. I probably want two males, the rest females, so eight, sorry, yeah, eight females, uh, just because it's a better breeding, um, breeding ratio, but yeah, so that's my Angaras F1s, just got them, uh, stay tuned for more updates, I will get back to you on these nice peacocks. I'm probably going to throw them in my 125. They're about 2.5 inches easy, 3 inches almost hitting. So I'm feeling them pretty well. Just got them today as well, so they're eating really well. Um, I'll throw them in my male peacock tank. Should be fine. They shouldn't be eating or anything. They're big enough, fast enough as they are. They're very healthy. But they're in here for temporary, just in case any disease. I could catch them within these few days, within the week probably. I'll see what happens. If anything, this tank's gets a little too aggressive, I could keep monitoring on it. Um, I'll probably move all these guys, which is four of peacocks in there, into this tank and get rid of all these yellow labs, which I still have to do. They're on sale. So if you live in Markham, Scarborough, within the GT of Toronto, let me know. Got some yellow labs for sale. Um, if you contact me through YouTube, I'll give it to you guys really, really cheap. But other than that, it's on Kijiji, Craigslist. Um, yeah. Let me know. Thanks, guys. Um, stay tuned for more updates. Uh, I will get to you sometime within the week, just uh, as a quick update to what's going on within the tanks. And hopefully all my fish live. Spent a lot of money on these guys, so... But yeah, sounds good. Alright, guys. Catch you guys later. Peace.